Hello, it's Jazz. Today's video is a jumping on foot how to. I'm driving on my cat Oscar, who features in this video, and it's at night, so there's planes taking off. Sorry. So, first up, you've got to do a proper warm up, just jogging around in circles, good. Then put down a low fence and jump over that a few times, then make it bigger and jump over that both directions. Just get nice and warmed up. And then you can pick another slightly bigger fence and just go over that. It's good if you turn around the corner before you're jumping over it. Then you can set up guide poles if you need to and then jump over something else and then after about now you can start jumping whatever sort of thing you want oh here comes Oscar he's so lovely don't know if you can hear him purring but he's next to me asleep on bed and then you can jump over your bigger jump and walk around looking stupid <laughs> and then I find it handy to set up some poles either side of the jump so you know how wide it is so you're jumping the exact width not an estimate and then here comes Oscar again <laughs> oh gosh he's so fluffy and then you can jump that a few times then I'll just move that out of the way and then you can set up another jump and I'm just having some bolting on practice onto a horse just while I was standing there yeah I looked really strange never mind anyway um, always good to check the ground that you're landing on make sure it's not slippy and make sure it's clear of anything like debris then you can start jumping over your jump and I'm doing like a make it bigger here comes Oscar again and yeah so I'm just making it bigger and they go and jumping over it and just pretty much seeing how high I can go. And um, please note that I have not done this in a a very long time. Like two or three months long time. So there's a lot of procrastination. <laughs> yep. And I knocked it off a few times. Sometimes on purpose though. Um a really good thing I find to do is run at it or oh, have a little jump that you go over before you jump it. And run at it literally saying to yourself i'm going to jump it and give yourself give yourself no choice but to take off and you'll find that you actually do jump it and you'll really be surprised as to how high you can actually jump and it's pretty good if you just keep going around in a circle and just jumping over and over but don't overdo yourself because you don't want to get too tired and then you get injured so yeah so the final jump was 110 centimeters so one meter ten my my highest one was actually 115 yeah, so that's the first time I actually managed to go over it. It was a lot of procrastination, about an hour or so of, should I do it, should I not? And that time I hit it with my hand, so I'm going, I'm okay, it's my hand. And then finally, after hours, this happened. Dun, dun, dun. And that was a metre ten, which I was pretty pleased about. And don't forget to take the puff jump down afterwards for safety and drink lots of stuff. That looks like blood. It's not, honest. <laughs> 